How did the dessert taste? Like this. <laughs> everybody we left a cliffhanger on our last vlog <laughs> okay. about where we were off to after our visit to france we had a bunch of you take some guesses two people got it right maria and reverend eric cobbs you are correct we headed over to italy milan specifically we flew over the swiss alps which you see here we got upgraded to first class and we set out for an adventure in milan I was super excited about taking Angela to Milan because I've been here before and it's one of my absolute most favorite places to visit. As soon as we landed, got settled, we set out on a quest to find the most delicious gelato within the general area. And of course, we came across this huge outdoor party, have no idea of what it was. There was quite a long line for the gelato. I think we waited in lines maybe 15 minutes. What is this? How was that gelato, babe? Delish. Delish. <laughs> I think the pistachio. I think yours is my favorite. Yeah, I have you pistachio. Know girl. Yeah, she's a chocolate girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Strawberry was pretty good, but that pistachio. That pistachio, though. <laughs> what that pistachio, though, do? What that pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> so this woman is about to try Italian pizza. From Italy. For the first time. Cheese is better and the crust is better. I don't like cheese. I like stingy American cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All of this delicious food was found in the train station, partially because it's like Grand Central. It's the big train station in Milan. Um, you definitely don't find this stuff in a North American train station. Can I take a nap? <laughs> <laughs> Wake your ass up. No. <laughs> Superhero fast. <laughs> We caught a train to Duomo, which is the famous cathedral kind of in the heart of Milan. <laughs> and this is Duomo. Okay, quest to find a bathroom. We had to use McDonald's in Duomo. And look at these amazing treats at their McDonald's. We don't get that. We get apple pies. <laughs> Microwave <laughs> apple pies. Happy anyway, meals. yeah, the, their treats were guarded heavily. I had to get security permission to use their bathroom. But we went on to shopping in the Galleria, which is a famous uh, collection of stores in Dorm. Or a desk. Or a desk. Yeah. Like, I love this strap. You know, mm -hmm. I like strappy ones. Yeah. It's really nice design here. There is tons of shopping around the Galleria area, so we eventually worked up the appetite to get another gelato. Hey, we got another gelato every day, whether we had an appetite or not. We were on a quest to find the best gelato. We had to. This dude tried about 20 times to give this lady a hug and she keeps pushing him away and he will not give up. He's still going in. Persistent little Italian guy. Push him away. <laughs> oh, she let his hand on it. Oh, it worked. It worked. She pushed him. Oh, no, she's not all the way. She's got some more. Please, get off. I can understand persistence and confidence, but there's a limit, gentlemen. There's a limit. <laughs> But she didn't walk away, so she's not, she's just playing hard to get eyes open. Some people can learn a thing or two from these people. And the pocket squares, basically. 
<laughs> that is cool. End of day one, very long day, and day two is starting with a workout. Gotta work all that gelato. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we do. Oh, and this woman, she gave me a workout. Sometimes I do my own workout, sometimes I defer to hers. Trying to kill me, freaking kill me. There is no better feeling like crushing a workout and then going into a breakfast to say like they had at this hill. And it was amazing. Honey, they had cheese you scrape out, they had honeycomb. Yes, Lord. Any kind of fruit, fresh fruit or vegetable, omelet. It was amazing. After that refreshing breakfast, we're off to the train station, which that's how the locals get around. But before we did, we had to get a little snacky because we, we stay hungry. <laughs> how did the dessert taste? Like this. <laughs> she said my abs are better than that. She said they're kind of like that, but they're better than that. A little more defined. A little more defined. You cannot go to a place like Milan and not insert yourself into the fashion, the art, the culture, nor the food. It is borderline sinful if you don't. I find it intriguing to look at how people fought like over the course of time, what they had to wear, how they were geared up, their armor, their weapons, um, just kind of put takes my mind back to what it must have been like. You're gonna think all we did there was eat desserts and uh, you probably wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Go pull up. <laughs> no, we had to get another um, little treat, um, and then this man likes his romance suits, so we had to look at some of the styles, some of the fashions in Milan again. Such a Oh, but she did get her share of um, browsing and shopping on too. This is beautiful clothing in a train station. Hey. Yeah, who would have thought? Very, very forward leaning. I only need like 20 minutes to get ready. I'm just trying to take this beautiful lady on a date. We're trying to figure out where to sit. It's good. Cheese. Chicken, cheese. Yeah. Curious. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> Zero for two. That's a no. <laughs> Big Sarah. Amazing. Amazing. Top of Gucci. Oh, so I observed what appeared to be a rooftop bar at the top of Gucci, and, and we he decided we were going to eat. Beautiful. <laughs> so we stumbled our well dressed behinds over there, and I told the guy that you just saw, I said, Look, uh, we like to go up, and he said, Sure, let me show you the way. I mean, instant, right? So that's how we end up there. of limoncello is but that is a friend of mine that happened to be in Milan at the same time so we linked up and had a great time and that was a night we got home around 1 a.m and the next morning we got up and went somewhere amazing and that's gonna be another vlog so watch for the card for that but anyway this right here is a time lapse on um, the night we got back from our amazing secret place we had this dinner right in front of the Duomo Cathedral
<laughs> All good things come to an end, so we are exiting what is now one of our favorite cities and on our way to Milpenza, Milano Airport. Okay, we had to grab some limoncello from the airport to come back and show the kids and get babe a pistachio filled croissant. He'd been eyeing it. It's a little much. Finally got to try one. But this was such an amazing trip full of great memories and we hope that you loved it. We sure did. On our way back, we'll catch you in the next video.